in 2019, we took our first ever cruise and we took you along with us for our Caribbean Cash Tour. Now we're proud to present Caribbean Cash Tour 2. We visit nine ports of call in Eastern and Western Caribbean and we'd like you to join us. Come along, adventures beckon us and geocaches wait to be found. Today we're going to be exploring Costa Maya, Mexico. We're going to go see some Mayan ruins and some butterflies. Butterflies? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, the monkey. This was a visit to a butterfly farm. Butterfly farming is the commercial production of live butterflies and moths in controlled environments to supply stock for universities, zoos, insectariums, nature centers, or butterfly houses. Have you ever visited a butterfly conservatory? This could be where they come from. This little guy was really curious about us. Once eggs become larvae, they'll soon become pupa, and these can be sent to conservatories around the world. <laughs> Time to say goodbye to the little guy and the butterfly farm and get back on the road. Before heading to the Mayan ruins, we're stopping at a pineapple stand. And the sign here says three for 100, that's 100 pesos. That means you can get three pineapples for four bucks. Whoa. The pineapple was tasty, but we had Mayan ruins to visit and a geocache to find. Chokchoben, meaning the place of red corn, is a Mayan ruin approximately 157 kilometers south of Tulum. Settlement by the Maya at the site is estimated at 200 BC and the structures date from 700 AD. It is characterized by large temples and massive platform groups. Ruins were officially reported to the Mexican government in June 1972 by Dr. Peter Harrison, an American archaeologist. Harrison stumbled upon this site while flying a helicopter over Mexico. He noticed numerous hills in predominantly flat lands and realized there were temples beneath these hills which were naturally covered over a period of 2,000 years. site has a very different feel from last week's episode of those Mayan ruins. It's very, very interesting. And there is a virtual geocache here, so we're not just here sightseeing. Gotta get the cache.
To get reward for the geocache, you have to take your picture at the virtual location, which is up the steps to the temple. So we got to climb to the top to get to that spot. Do this as a group. And that was it. That was the spot. All this way for a virtual geocache. One of the only geocaches we can get while we're in this stop. And we saved everybody else the heartache of us all getting our pictures one at a time. We did it all by one big group. Okay, don't read the cash description, it's not by the sign. Then again, uh, do follow the Mahala sign. It's not that Mahala sign, but that one. That was the only container okay. there. Okay, uh, that's fine, I just didn't know if it was retractable then. Oh, no, I don't think that's good. There's nothing else here, just for us. Well, that was a really cool adventure. What, you mean a specific one or the whole thing? No, what we just did. Uh, where were we? <laughs> there were so many places we've been, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> <laughs> the last place was Ko 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 Maya? Ko. Anyway, the ruins were cool. <laughs> we can't remember the name. <laughs> it's such a long cruise and we've been to so many destinations. They were all fantastic and Please join us and have a look. Yeah, and this, so this is the end of our cruise now, but there's so much more to come because we're planning a road trip to uh, Alabama and Georgia and then up the East Coast back to Canada. Please like and subscribe. Yep, and don't forget to hit that notification bell yep. so you can be watching us whenever we put, publish a video. And keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? you?